Uh, and I'm sure y'all have either seen it or heard about it by now. So Canelo Alvarez, as far as I can, I'm concerned, was getting outboxed and beat, you know, just outclassed by Amir Khan all the way up until he was starting to wear him down with those body shots into the fifth round and into the sixth round where he finally laid Amir Khan out with one shot, just one clean right hand counter over the top over Khan's misses as Khan was trying to escape. And it was just a brutal knockout, brutal one-punch knockout. Probably going to be knockout of the year. But the, the real story, I mean, aside from from the kind of a miraculous one-punch KO comeback, was the fact that Golovkin got in the ring. Canelo said that he's ready to fight anybody anywhere, I guess, finally because he's feeling the pressure. And Amir Khan and Virgil Hunter were saying that they need to hold him to that. Amir Khan and Virgil Hunter were saying that Khan had balls, that Khan stepped up to the plate and fought a risky opponent, and now it's time for Golovkin, and now, now, excuse me, it's time for Canelo to start doing that and stop hiding behind the flag, hiding behind the fact that he's been hyped up by Televisa for all these years, hiding behind the idea that, oh, he stepped up and fought a smaller man in Floyd Mayweather, a smaller older man in Floyd Mayweather that he should have been able to defeat. Because he's the young lion, he's the young up and comer. The young up and comer is supposed to defeat the old, smaller, more brittle old man, and he failed to. So now that he's got guys, now that he's now that he's gonna potentially fight a guy his own size, his own class, his own weight, his own size, his own age, or closer to his own age anyway, actually in his prime, it, the story changes all of a sudden with Golovkin. So, and I mean, I, I guess he finally realizes his back's up against the wall and his manhood is being questioned because he's saying that he don't fuck around. So, let's see if he fucks around. You know, if he, if he wants to pull this catchway bullshit, let's see if he fucks around. Continuing with his bullshit. Canelo been perpetrating the fraud for years and years now. And people have been allowing him to. So, I want to see his feet get held, get held to the fire and, and see him fight his true rival right now. His true rival. Canelo's the lineal middleweight titleist, the lineal middleweight champion, while well, his number one contender is Golovkin. Period, point blank. If he ducks him, that's a straight up duck and a continuing duck because it's already basically been happening. So that's pretty much all I got to say about that. I'm going to try and recap some of this post-fight shit for myself. And, I mean, shh, I'm going to leave you all to it.